my name's Roland and I'm here to talk about the ukulele. So the parts of the ukulele are much like uh, a human body. We've got the body, neck, head, headstock and tuners, tuning pegs that help keep our strings um, at pitch. Then we have the bridge which carries the vibration of the strings through into the body of the instrument which then the sound then comes out of the conveniently named sound hole. So we get a nice, small, but pretty sound. So the ukulele has four strings and they're tuned quite, um, quite strangely, actually. Unlike other stringed instruments where you pluck the lowest string or the string closest to the ceiling, you'd end up with the lowest note and you'd go lower and then you go higher from each note that you went down. But the ukulele is different in that this, this string here, the closest to your body, is actually higher than the next two. So you have... Can you hear how the notes... Dun, 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 sort of have that sort of curve instead of going straight up, instead of starting low and ending high. So that's a little um, a unique feature of the ukulele compared to other stringed instruments. So the notes of the ukulele, we've discussed how it goes high, low, low, and then high again. So we have a G, C, E, and an A. And you can make up your own phrases to uh, remember those uh, words. I came up with one today that was good cats eat ants which makes no sense, but maybe that will help you uh, remember it better. The way we hold the ukulele, you can do this many ways, because it's, it's a small instrument and everyone's different, everyone's different sizes. So, you know, if you feel very small, you might find it's, it's easy just to have on your knee even and play like a guitar almost. For me, I'm obviously much bigger than this, so I need to find a bit more of a creative way. The way I like to do it from sat down is I like to cross my legs, cross my right leg over my left and then have this part of the body of the instrument just there on my, on my leg and it gives and I have to sort of counterbalance a little bit with my right arm but you could also try um, tucking it under your arm here tucking it under your right arm um, and sort of clamping down or you could even try other way around you just sort of have to experiment and find the best way to hold it there are no set rules with the ukulele which is what makes it so accessible along with the fact that it's you can pick one up for about five pounds on Amazon so it's really easy to get involved in. So to create the sound on the ukulele we, we need to pluck the string. So we've got three implements we can use. We can use fingers, thumbs or plectrum which is a little triangular piece of plastic. Looks like that. And they each have a different quality of sound to them. So if I play with the fingers first quite a crisp sound. If I play with a thumb, a bit rounder, maybe a little louder, and then with a pick, I like to think of that as sort of the halfway between the two fingers and thumbs. So now we come to the final ingre ingredient in creating music on this instrument. We've talked about the right hand and, cr and plucking the strings to create the vibrations, but now we need to talk about the left hand and what it does. And it's there to change the notes that we're playing on each string. So we've talked about what, what this each string is. So we can shorten the, the length of the string to make the note higher by putting our fingers down. So if I take this top A string there, I can put my first finger down just behind this metal bar, this fret here, which brings the note up by a semitone. You can hear the pitch is higher. There's with no finger. And there's the first finger. And then you can put your second finger down, go higher, third finger, even higher, and your fourth finger there. It might be quite hard to begin with to get all those fingers working, but it's just to show you what's possible. And you can do that on all four strings. And there you have it. So that's all you need to know to get started on the ukulele. It's a very inexpensive instrument that you can find any, almost at any uh, music shop or even on Amazon. 
Um, and I recommend that you pick one up if you're interested in getting started.